President Biden calls the drone strike that killed al-Qaeda's leader a major blow to the terrorist network. And tonight we're hearing more about how it went down from the recon that made it possible to the president's kill order. KTLA's Pedro Rivera tracking the story from the news center. Pedro. He was the mastermind behind some of the most deadliest terror attacks against America. Al-Qaeda chief Aman al-Zawahiri was killed in a CIA drone strike. The operation leaves a hole at the top of the terror group's leadership. And tonight, President Biden made it clear he's prepared to target anyone else who threatens the U.S. Justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. President Joe Biden announced a successful CIA drone strike against al-Qaeda leader Aman al-Zawahiri. Now we have eliminated the emir of al-Qaeda. My administration will continue to vigilantly monitor and address threats from al-Qaeda. According to the president, earlier this year, the U.S. learned of the al-Qaeda leader's whereabouts. Biden approved the operation, and on Sunday, the drone strike was carried out at a home in the Afghanistan capital of Kabul, where Zawahiri was hiding with his family. No civilians were killed. The ruthless Egyptian native has been one of the masterminds behind many deadly atrocities, including the bombing of U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania in August of 1998, and three years later, the deadliest attack on U.S. soil, the September 11th attacks. It is my hope that this decisive action will bring one more measure of closure. Zawahiri was once the number two most sought after terrorist, only behind his predecessor, Osama bin Laden. After bin Laden's assassination in 2011, Zawahiri rose to power to lead the fractured group. Qaeda today is a, um, a shadow of what it was uh, before 9-11. Senior fellow at Brookings Institution, Vonda Fellabob Brown, says the terrorist group will likely have a new leader appointed soon. Nonetheless, replacing very uh, organizationally capable leaders like Zawahiri or very charismatic leaders like bin Laden is not easy. Almost a year after withdrawing all troops from Afghanistan, fellow Bob Brown believes the United States is sending an important message to terrorist networks in the region. It is still very capable of uh, carrying out top level uh, attacks and neutralizing top level uh, uh, terrorist leaders. During his speech from the White House Monday night, President Biden made that message direct. We, we make it clear again tonight that no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. The Taliban quickly confirmed and condemned the U.S. strike. It turns out Zawahiri was living with his family in a large safe house in downtown Kabul, meaning he most likely was there with the Taliban's blessing.